in the name of Jesus. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Thank you for joining me wherever you are joining me from. My name is Tony White. As usual, I welcome you to my broadcast, The Cry of the Psalmist. The Cry of the Psalmist. I want to say a big thank you to some of you who have watched my video. I want to say a big thank you to some of you who have encouraged me in diverse ways. I say God bless you richly. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bring you greetings in the most high name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for this time to bring your word, O oh Lord. I ask, O oh Lord, that your word will touch somebody this day. That your word will bring a change in the life of somebody today. Holy Ghost, take absolute control in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Today, brethren, I bring you a special message as usual in my very, very usual short podcast. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I bring you a message that is very, very spiritually important to you and I. Today, I want us to cancel every program or every programming into the moon and the sun against our destiny. Brother, sister, do you know that people are programming evil things into the moon and the sun against you? Do you know that people are doing things using the sun and the moon against your destiny? Do you know that those who serve the moon, those who serve the sun, those who serve the constellations or what we call the hosts of the sky. They are doing things to affect your destiny, to affect your life. That is why some people under the sun, they just are uncomfortable. Spiritually, it is a programming against you. Some people under the moon, they are just uncomfortable. Have you noticed that there are many of you who cannot even pray at night? And there are many of you who cannot sleep at night? They the Englishman, we call it the spirit of insomnia. But, brother, sister, this could be a spiritual programming against your destiny. Do you know that some people are restless when the sun is rising? Do you know that some people are restless when the sun is rising? It could be as a matter of programming into the moon and the star against you. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to believe God and pray against every programming into the moon, into the sun, against your destiny, your marriage, your business, your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, if you can speak in tongues in the next one minute, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Speak in the holy language. Mako mika malala makoko. Mika malama ke mokoko. Malele moko mika malama kamakeke. Malele le moko mika malama kaka. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us take our excursion into the word of God this day. The word of God. God in the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 23, 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 5. I read first from the King James Version, 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 5. The Bible said, and he put down the idolatrous priests whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem, them also that burned incense unto Baal, to the sun, and to the moon, and to the planets, and to the hosts of heaven. People are burning incense to the sun against your destiny. People are burning incense and making incantations and divinations to the moon against your destiny. Do you know that people are making incantations and burning incense to the planet and to the hosts of heaven against your destiny? Are you aware that people are making things to the sun, the moon, the planets and the hosts of heaven against your destiny? Today, you and I, we must stand and come against powers that have been invoked and provoked from the moon, from the sun, from the planets, from the hosts of heaven against your destiny. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read from you from the New Living Translation of the Bible what 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 5 says. 2 Kings chapter 23 from the New Living Version. He said, he did away with the pagan priests. There are pagan priests working against your destiny. Who had been appointed by the previous kings. They've been appointed by the demons and the powers of your fathers and your mother's house. He said, who had been appointed by the previous kings of Judah. The kings, the powers of of your village, the powers of your community where you live. They have been appointed. Priests, demonic priests have been appointed by these powers, by these strong men and strong women of your father's and your mother's house, by the principalities principalities and powers of where you live. They have been appointed to do you havoc using the instrumentality of the moon, the sun, and the planets. So the Bible said, the previous kings of Judah, for they had burned incense at the pagan shrines throughout Judah, and even in the vicinity of Jerusalem, they had also offered incense to Baal, and to the sun, the moon, the constellation, and to all the forces of heaven. Brother, can you imagine, sister, can you imagine that forces of heaven are provoked against some people? That is why they move forward, but they cannot get to a particular level. Then they have to retrace their steps. Then they have to, there is a backward movement. Brother, sister, it is the power programmed into the sun and the moon against your destiny. Today, this afternoon, this morning, you want to lift up your voice and say, every power that has been programmed into the sun, every power power the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice wherever you are, in your office, in your house, in your car. Say every power that has been programmed into the sun, every power that has been programmed into the moon, every power that has been programmed into the heavenlies against my destiny that is causing me discomfort in my life. I come against them in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Every evil programming into the moon and the sun against my destiny. I come against them in the name of Jesus. I stand in the authority of the name of Jesus and I cancel every programming into the moon, every programming into the sun, every programming into the heavens, heavenlies against your destiny, against your marriage, against your business, against your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sister, brother, let's go to Psalm 121. You will see that that was why the psalmist, that was why the psalmist prayed vigorously and made confessions against this programming. Psalm 121. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Psalm 121, verse 6. The Bible say, The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the, nor by, nor the moon by night. The sun, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Because David understood that the sun smites by day, that the moon smites by night, that it is the orchestration of evil ones, of evil powers, of evil priests. David understood this. That was why this declaration was made by even God knows that there are powers in the moon. There are powers in the sun. There are powers using the moon. There are powers using the sun to strike you. But today I stand in the authority of the name of Jesus. I come to you from this holy mountain once again. And I decree and I declare with holy anger in my spirit. Every power that wants to smite you. Or every power that is smiting you from the moon, from the sun. I decree and declare. He shall not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Every orchestration against you, every manipulation against your destiny, from the moon, from the sun, from the constellations, from evil priests in the heavenlies, against your destiny. Every invocation, every provocation against your destiny, against your marriage, against your ministry, from the moon, from the sun, he shall not stand and he shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. I thank you, Heavenly Father. I give you praise. I give you glory. That is why the 
The Bible said it categorically that the sun shall not smite us. You want to put your hand on your chest and say the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. And we want to add verse 7. Verse 7 of Psalm 121. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. In the name of Jesus. You want to say it like you mean it? The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We glorify your holy name. I pray for your children from all over the world this day, Lord. I pray for your people, Lord. And I decree and declare unto them in the name of Jesus, the sun shall not smite them by day. The moon shall not smite them by night. Neither shall the constellations or the host of heaven have any power over their lives by the reason of the covering of the blood of Jesus. Christ. Wherever you are, I invoke the covering of the blood of Jesus over you. When you are sleeping and when you are awake, when you are walking or when you are driving, when you are in car or you are in a boat, the blood of Jesus will cover you from the arrows from the sun, from the arrows from the moon, from the arrows from the constellations, from the invocation and provocation of any evil priest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Brethren, that is the word I came to bring to you today. You want to continue to pray this scripture over your life, over your family, that the sun shall not smite them by day, nor the moon by night, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. That is all time all, all time can permit me this day. Until I come your way again on Friday, Friday 12 noon, Greenwich Mid Time, African Time. Greenwich Mid Time, Friday. I want you to remain in the atmosphere of miracles. I want to tell you, brother, sister, are you going through any kind of challenge? Are you going through any kind of problems? Is, are you overwhelmed by challenges? Well, there is no distance in the, the realm of the spirit. You can reach me wherever you are. And together, in the name of Jesus Christ, we can who can believe God for the miraculous. In the name of Jesus, you can call me, send me an SMS. And together, I believe by the word, by the sayings of the word of God, that if two shall agree concerning a thing, if you and I agree, I believe that the God that answered by fire, he will answer you speedily. Until I see you again next week, remain in the hand and the covering of Jehovah Almighty. God bless you. Shalom. Bye. Peace.